Hello everyone, it's Broku here. Today I was planning on making a video about 200 subscribers and 20,000 views for my ROG phone unboxing video. Unfortunately, in a twist of irony, <laughs> I am instead making a different video. This video is instead going to be about why I'm about to rebox my ROG phone 5S Pro and how I will be returning it under warranty and not purchasing a new ROG phone. I don't think I've had any problems hardware-wise myself. I know some others have commented that they have had motherboard issues and some overheating issues. My one, unfortunately, which you can see on screen, is on cue a few months in, about 3-4 months in of owning the phone, just like the last one when I had the ROG Phone 5. It has the exact same problem again with the software. The camera is refusing to open. It's dead. I can't turn on the torch either. It says it's in use by the camera. So instead of making a celebratory video, I guess we're making a sad celebratory video. But I wanted to thank you guys anyway. And I guess you can just uh, watch me rebox up this phone when I get ready to take it back to the store. I'm honestly pretty sad. I really wanted to believe in the ROG phone. It was a pretty good product, hardware speaking. There is not really any other phone I found that comes even close to it. I absolutely loved a lot of the features, like the quick refresh rate, the quick charge. It's so convenient having your phone charge in 15 minutes. It would be at 80%, that's it, done. Like I would gain 5% battery every minute, that's just crazy. Anyway, so here we are. <laughs> Reboxing the phone, ready to take back. Now I have a problem, which maybe you guys can help me with. I still need a new phone because I do not like the S10 Plus that I am going back to. It is such a broken mess, but at least it's consistently stable and the camera works. It does have a lot of janky, scuffed issues with the software as well. So my question is, if you guys want to leave a comment down in chat, what phone would you guys recommend? I don't think, to my knowledge, there is another phone really that does what the ROG phone does with the physical buttons, which is unfortunate because that's something I really really enjoyed about the phone as well. I absolutely loved that feature. And I did enjoy it having two USB-C ports, but I guess we're giving that up now because I need a phone that actually works consistently and Asus cannot provide that it seems. I gave them two chances, but it looks like that's it, we're done. Maybe in the future we can check out the ROG Phone 6 or 7. But from the rumors and what I've seen, the 6 didn't look very good to me. It looked like they were taking steps backwards instead of forwards. I hope that I'm not correct on that and the rumors are incorrect. But we'll see. So yeah, if you guys want to leave a comment, let me know maybe what you think I should get instead to replace it. I'm open to suggestions. I mainly want it to be a stable phone. Of course I'm gonna play games on it. I love playing games. Let me know what you think. Hopefully I'll find a new phone and it will be the phone that is for me and it's a stable phone that doesn't have any major problems. I really don't enjoy moving my phone back and forth. It's one thing if you're a reviewer, but I'm not a reviewer. This is the phone that I'm using as my daily phone and it's quite frustrating having to relocate all your apps and all your personal photos and everything from one phone to the next and make sure they all get there safely and reset up all the desktop screens and icons, re-log into all your accounts. There's so many things, it's gonna take me a few days to do, which is just a waste of my time. So I'll be on the lookout for a new phone and we'll see what's around and if I see something that I'm interested in, I'll give it a go. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. Maybe I'll end up picking something that I didn't know about that I see in the comments. We'll see what happens. I had planned to do a lot more ROG phone videos, like other game testing and I actually had Apex installed. I was about to make a video and show you guys how Apex was on the ROG phone. Not that you could play it over 60 FPS anyway. The game limits you to 60 FPS on the highest frame rate and it won't let you use the ultra graphics if you used high frame rate. So it wasn't making full use of the phone's hardware anyway. Regardless, there won't be any more ROG phone videos simply because I won't have one anymore. So I can't test it out and share with you guys. Sorry for anyone who's disappointed by that.
there's nothing I can do about it. I do want to thank everyone as well for all the support, the likes, and the subscribes. Thank you guys for 200 subscribers. I know it's not a big milestone on YouTube these days, but it makes me happy. I try to only put out videos that I think are interesting and would watch myself. Thanks again everyone. I still want to end on a good note. I'm really happy you guys can all enjoy my videos. I'm sure there'll be some improvements along the way as we get more experienced and get better. This is something I do as a hobby because I enjoy it, so I try to make sure that it's relatively quality content that I put out. <laughs> Even if it's a bit scuffed around the edges, I appreciate all your support and I am really glad that you guys all enjoy my videos. Thanks everyone. Love you all. Take care.